everybody, this is Julie Weeb, Women's Sports Medicine Physical Therapist, and what we're talking about today is part two of understanding of how to get your pelvic floor back into fitness. In the first part, we talked about the fact that the pelvic floor is not an isolated entity. It actually works alongside the rest of the components of our inner core, and that those components are in constant motion. They don't actually do static holds. They are constantly moving, and one of the ways that they do that is in this pistoning action. It's a relationship between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor that really sets up our central stability before we move. So the next step is to understand how to find your pelvic floor, because if you can't find it, you can't use it, not only in your fitness, but in your day-to-day -day activities. And so the first thing to understand is a little bit more about the pelvic floor um, and to think of it as two halves of one whole. The back half tends to be um, what people use or is used to help us control our anus. The front half helps us control the vaginal opening and the urethral opening where the pee comes out. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so, the, uh, so when we're activating the pelvic floor, we want to be able to, com to control and activate both halves, but what tends to happen for women is an overuse of the back half of the pelvic floor. So what that means is if you're only squeezing around your anus and a cough, sneeze, jump, laugh comes along, you are actually not going to be stopping any urine. You'll be just squeezing around the anus and that's not going to really do the trick. So what we need to do is get you familiar with feeling the front of that pelvic floor again. And so I'm going to teach you a little trick, okay, and I like to call it the ski jump. And so what, first things first, what you need to do is take your shoes off, and I'm going to be standing sideways to the camera. Um, and I want you just to stand in your natural posture. And in that situation, I just want you to feel where you feel your weight going into the floor. Is it through your heels, your midfoot, or your toes? I'll give you a second to think about that. So if you aren't feeling it in your heels, I want you to actually get there a little bit. Sort of slide back and be in your natural posture. Don't try to impress me because I can't see you anyway. And put your um, weight in your heels. I don't mean lift your toes. I don't mean exaggerate it. Just be shifted into your heels. In this position, what I'd like you to do is try to do what we kind of think of as a kegel. That lift up and in, close and lift up and in of your pelvic floor. Okay, and take note of what part of the pelvic floor you're feeling. Is it the back half or the front half? And now I'm going to ask you to go into a ski jump. So you're going to be, think Olympian, think coming right off that ski jump. Okay, and now I want you to go ahead and try that pelvic floor engagement. Close and lift up and in. In that, and then I just want you to take note of where you feel that contraction, front half or back half. Okay, and now let's go back into our heels. Try it again. Okay, and now we'll go again to our ski jump and feel that engagement again. Okay, so for some of you, probably for quite a few of you, when you were in your heels, I would say most of you, you felt more work around your anus. I can't see show of hands, unfortunately, when I do these. But when you were in your ski jump toward the front, you felt more of a connection and more toward the front half. If you felt less, or you couldn't get a good connection, that's because you've been overusing that posterior floor for so long, the front half has become incredibly weak and disconnected. So we need to activate in a way that allows us to feel both halves, okay? And the ski jump is a great trick to help you start to connect with the front half of the pelvic floor so that you can use it again. So practice some ski jumps, get familiar with where that front of the pelvic floor is, and then we can take our next steps. Thanks for watching.